If you had a desktop computer growing up, it probably was a Dell. The company's towers have always been attractive, reliable and, above all, value-packed. The latest XPS Tower Special Edition easily interesting in that it's more compact than ever. What's more, Dell has packed in both Intel's Coffee Lake processors and Nvidia's 10 series graphics cards, making it virtual reality ready and powerful enough to game even when hooked up to a ridiculously sharp monitor. Updated, we've updated our Dell XPS Tower Special Edition review with impressions and benchmarks from the latest 2018 model featuring Intel Coffee Lake processors. The Dell XPS Tower Special Edition now starts at $999, about 700 pounds, a dollar one comma 300, and for that price you're getting a fully capable gaming PC. Equipped with a hexa-core CPU and an NVIDIA GDX 1050 Ti to start, this rig is fully ready for all types of esports games and most modern titles. On top of the addition of 8th generation Intel Core processors, Every XPS Tower Special Edition now comes with 2,666 MHz memory that's a major step up from the previous 2,133 MHz RAM onboard previous iterations. Our review configuration, meanwhile, is a mid-range model that comes with the, currently, highest-end, 8th Gen Intel Core i7 CPU, NVIDIA GTX 1070, 16 GB of memory and a 256 GB SSD, for $1,724, about £1,230, $2,230. Regardless of whether you go for the same exact upgrade, you're looking at a truly VR capable rig for less than two grand. The special edition version of the XPS Tower isn't available in the UK and Australia, but users in those territories will be able to configure a regular XPS tower with roughly the same parts. Spending £1,399 in the UK nets you the same configuration as our review unit plus a larger 4TB hard drive. Meanwhile, a similarly spec machine with a still larger 2TB HDD goes for $2,499 in Australia. The only thing you'll miss out on with the regular models is the metal front panel. Comparatively, the Lenovo Legion Y920 tower comes in at a very similar $1,799 price featuring all the same specs except for a last-gen Intel Core i7-7700K CPU, half-sized SSD, and slower frequency RAM. In the UK and Australia, the gaming PC comes with a beefier 256GB SSD, 2TB HDD, and NVIDIA G